Hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech TriCaster TC1 Get Started Training. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up a session and some of the basic settings on the TriCaster. So when you first boot up your TC1, you'll be greeted with this home screen. The first option is where you would go to create a new session. So over here is where you would set up the session name and where you want to have your session saved to. Beneath that is an area for you to select a previously made session to use as a template. Below that is where you can set up your video settings to have your session set up as an NTSE or a PAL session and also set up the resolution that will determine the output of your session. Now once you have all of that set up you can click start session but before we do that let's take a look at some of our other options. Beneath new session we have open session and this will allow for you to select a session that you've already created or restore a backup session. Now beneath that is a section for add-ons for you to configure additional software on the TriCaster. Beneath that we have our help section for viewing documentation and user guides. Now beneath that we have our shutdown options which allow you to restart the TriCaster, shut it down, or access your administrator mode. Now in administrator mode you'll find different options for you to register your TriCaster, update your TriCaster, along with additional resources to set up your regional language, uh, set the time and date on it, also configure your network and display. Okay now let's go back to our TriCaster. Now you'll notice in the top left corner that you'll see a countdown clock because that is going to have the TC1 load the last session that you started. So click anywhere on the screen to make that countdown go away. So from here I'm going to open up a session that I've already created and that will take us to our session screen. So in this session screen we have three different options. We can either start our live production, create or manage graphics via live text, or we can manage our clips, stills, and other media along with configuring our data link and backing up a session. Now that we have our session ready, in the next video we're going to go over the live production interface.